So I just wanted to show you how to use my classic pink preset pack so that you can get the most out of the presets. So once you've loaded in your presets to Lightroom, they'll show up over here under the presets tab and they'll be in the folder called classic pink preset pack. So there's eight main presets in my classic pink pack collection and each of them come in a warm and a cool version. So one thing with my presets is none of them will affect the exposure of your image. And I've done that on purpose because each photo is going to have very different lighting depending on the camera settings and on the scene that you took the photo in. So this is something that I would usually play with first and get that right. And then I can click through the presets and see which one I like best on that photo. Otherwise, um, you're probably going to have to be dragging the exposure um, and changing it each time you click on a new preset. So what I wanted to do was take one photo and show you what each of the presets looked like on the same photo. And then I'll also go through each preset and show you what it looks like on the type of photo that that preset's been developed for. So first we'll look at the exposure. So for this photo it's pretty good but I'm just going to boost it up a little bit because it's a bit dark at the bottom. Okay and then I'll start with my strawberries and cream preset. So this one basically just adds a really um, soft creamy feel it's nice for city scenes and sort of adds a bit of warmth to them. And then I've got She Dreams in Blush. So this one's got a bit more of the pink undertone. Um, so as I mentioned before, you set your exposure first. And then the only other two settings you should really need to look at most of the time is going to be the temperature and the tint. So the temperature controls the coolness or the warmth of a photo and the tint controls how much green or pink is showing up. So with this setting on this photo, I think that it probably actually looks a bit too pink. So I'm just going to dial the tint down a little bit. And I think that looks a lot nicer. So then we have rose tinted glasses. So as you can see, this one has a little bit more contrast and it adds more of a pastel pink feel to the, to the photos. And then we've got rose gold, which adds a bit more of a soft, warm, romantic feel. Pink Mirage, which is a little bit more defined, I guess, because it's been developed for sand, dune or desert scenes that sometimes require a bit more detail. Then we've got Pastel Paradise. And that one has been developed for scenes with a lot of green in them. So you can't see so much in this photo the difference that it's making, but I will show you in just a minute what it does look like on a green um, a photo with a lot of greenery in it. And then we've got mermaid tails. So for this one I probably think we can actually drag this down a little bit. And it might be just a little bit too warm so I'm just gonna see bump the temperature down a little bit. And then the last preset's actually been developed for sunsets, so I'm not going to show you on this photo, but I will show you a sunset photo at the end with that one. Okay, so now I'll just go through and show you what each of the presets looks like on a photo that it works particularly well for. So Strawberries and Cream works quite well in city scenes. So this one here, I'm going to show you. And then I'm probably just going to bring the exposure down a little bit. And I'm thinking it's a little bit too warm. So I'm just going to bump that down a little bit 
see it. So as you can see, it sort of adds a nice creamy feel. And then with our She Dreams in blush, so this photo needs quite a bit of exposure bumped up. It's a bit dark. And then, so with the cool version of She Dreams in blush, it actually turns red tones into more of a pink, which I like in photos like this where I wasn't loving the red umbrellas. So this way they're sort of a bit pinker. And then I feel like maybe the tint's a bit too strong with the pink. So I'm just gonna bump it down, maybe even to zero. And then we've got our rose tinted glasses which works well across a lot of different scenarios. I think it's probably a bit too warm here. And then our rose gold. So I'm going to apply the cool version of this one because it actually does the same thing as the She Dreams in Blush cool version and turns pink, uh, turns red into more of a pink. So I can show you what the warm version looks like because that keeps the red. But they both work quite well for this photo. And then we've got the Pink Mirage, which as I mentioned before is, I sort of created specifically for scenes like this with a lot of sand and I guess foggy sort of backgrounds. So this is the Pink Mirage, the warm version, which just adds a bit, might just actually drop that down a little bit. And then we've got our Pastel Paradise, which as I mentioned is really good for scenes with a lot of greenery in them. So I think that, as you can see, I don't need to change a lot for each one. And it's really only these first three settings that you'll ever need to adjust. And then we've got Mermaid Tails, which is one of my favorites. Perfect for ocean, lake, pool, any kind of water. It just really boosts the, the blue and the turquoise. So I'll show you the, the warm as well as the cool because they're quite different in what they do with the water. So I like the cool version better on this photo. And then finally, we've got our Cotton Candy Sunset pre uh, preset. So basically, it works really well on any kind of dusky evening photo that's got a little bit of light still. Because um, as you can see, if I want to make the foreground a bit brighter, it really brightens up the sky too much. So this preset will just add the color back into the sky and give it a bit more of a boost. So there's the warm version. So as you can see, all the details come back into the sky um, and there's a beautiful pink sort of tone to the whole picture. And then there's also the cool version. So that is the classic pink preset pack. Um, if you do have any more questions, please check out my FAQ page on my website under the presets tab or feel free to email me with any, any um, questions you have. Thanks for listening guys.